remember that you are the creator. Ra describes the three main steps, and I love the simplicity of this, of the whole spiritual journey for the, for the sincere adept, or the, to, to cultivate the discipline of the personality, or the disciplined personality. And at step one, know yourself, which is what these entities will help you do. Know your patterns, know your weaknesses, know your motivations, know your true intentions, know your belief systems. Step two, accept yourself, accept your opinions, accept your feelings, accept your fears. That's not the same as saying indulging it, right? It's a difference between indulging your belief system or accepting it as it is and witnessing it release itself. So step one, know yourself. Step two, accept yourself. Step three, become the creator. Okay, and this is really my passion. There's a lot of spiritual teachings out there which are so necessary, but they're not my highest excitement to teach, but those are about accept self-acceptance. Accept yourself as you are. Love yourself as you are. Absolutely crucial, completely crucial. And when you get sort of past that point, um, and it's a dangerous proposition to even say past that point, because you do got to continue to pay attention, obviously. But when you get past a certain threshold of self-acceptance, of self-love, and you can show up for your life without fear or with very little fear and distortion, now you are ready to become the creator. And this is really where the work of the adept begins. This is really where we're talking about meditation and and, and penetrating the veil and really knowing who you are and applying your will in ways that are completely in alignment. Or even beyond that, dissolving individuality altogether. Start exploring the end of your individuality and merge with God. It's not necessarily the desire everyone has, but some people do have them. And the fearlessness that comes from that, to really become the creator, at a certain stage you need to dissolve your individuality because as Ra says, still, we seek the lessons of seventh density, but still to this day, we are raw. Meaning there is still identity apart from the creator. Even though they know it's all unity and it's all inseparable, it is still filtered through a center of individuation. Now, you, even as a human being, third density active or yellow ray active, as Ra would describe it, you can gain awareness of these higher, super high density lessons and learnings, and they can be integrated while you're physical. In fact, in some senses, it's easier to do because you have this great limitation. The contrast is so huge between those understandings and your everyday life experience of grocery shopping and arguing with your partner. So there is a lot that we can facilitate from this space of being incarnate in this seemingly limited reality. There's amazing things that you can realize. You can realize what's beyond existence, beyond creation as we know it. You can realize the one or the absolute as I call it, which would be eighth density, in my opinion, eighth density understanding. You can actually, even though Ra says they are still plumbing the mysteries of that, or they're still trying to grok that, you can, you can already have direct realizations of these super high level states. And so that's part of my excitement, part of my passion is to become the creator, have, pe have people experience more and more themselves as the creator, and less and less as this perceived body-mind with its story and its narrative. Sure, that's all.